Hey there, it's Sarah Bailey. How are you doing? Today I want to talk to you about calling people from business cards that you find when you're out and about. Now, where are you going to find these business cards? They're on cork boards all over town. You can find a cork board or a bulletin board at your local car wash, a deli, a coffee shop, a grocery store. They're everywhere. Okay, so just go there and start collecting business cards. The other day I went to a car wash and I found 31 cards just from one bulletin board. <laughs> and why is it that businesses post their business cards on these boards? It's because they're looking for more ways to generate income for their primary business, right? Only you with network marketing have a different option for them, another stream of income. Okay, this is brilliant. Okay, there's a very simple way that you can approach them and find out whether or not they're open. So your agenda is to find out if they're willing to take a look at what we're doing and if they are, if they're going to be a good fit. Okay, so you call them up. I'm going to give you a little example. Let's say I'm calling somebody named Susie who's a real estate agent. Call her up and she says hello and I say hi Susie and she'll say yes, say hi. My name is Sarah Bailey and I found your business card down at the ABC Car Wash. I live here in town, how are you? And she's going to say, you know, good, whatever. And say, listen, um, I own a business here in Connecticut and we are expanding all over the state, all over the East Coast, and we're looking for a few qualified professionals to join us on a part-time basis. And we like to talk to people who are good with people, they're good on the phone, they have good people skills, they like to help other people out, and they know how to go after business. My question for you is, do you keep your options open at all for earning money outside of what you're doing, what you're doing in real estate? And she'll say yes, no, or it depends. So if she says yes or it depends, say, great, awesome. Okay, I'm going to ask you a few questions to see which information is, or, oh, sorry, sorry. So you're going to say, great, okay, I'm going to ask you just a few quick questions so I know which information to best direct you to. By the way, how long have you been in real estate? And then she'll give me an answer. And then I'll ask, what is it that has you open to taking a look at something else and she's going to give you her answer which is part of her why for joining network marketing and that's huge to know what somebody's why is okay so she'll tell you why she's you know why she's looking around you can expand on that a little bit more and then you can ask her a little a couple more questions you know with the recent economy how has that impacted your business because then you're going to find out more information right so you just want to ask a couple questions about their work history, if they've done other work before, you know how long they've been in their current business, do they like it, what do they like best, what do they like least. And then if you want to give a little bit of information, just like 10 or 15 seconds, that's it, about your network marketing company, you can do that. You could say the name of our company is this. Um, and I'm going to, the next step, what I want to do is send you an email with a video. It's going to take about 20 minutes to watch that. So how soon in the next day or two will you be able to get to that video? And then she's going to give you an answer and you want to follow up with her within an hour of when she'll be able to watch a video. So you try to narrow the time down to when they're actually going to watch it. Okay, so let's say she says, I can watch it tomorrow morning. And then I would say, okay, so if I give you a call back at 11 o'clock, would that give you enough time to watch a video? And she's going to say probably yes. Okay, great. All right, so I will call you back at 11 o'clock to answer any questions that you may have. Now, I'm going to write this down in my calendar. Can you think of any reason why you may not be able to make that appointment at 11? And she, she'll tell me. Sometimes it happens that they'll say, oh, yeah, well, I might have such and such come up. Okay, well, would you please do me the professional courtesy of letting me know in advance if you cannot make that appointment time, okay? All right, sorry, thirsty. Okay, so then she'll give you a reason. Another thing you could say is, look, I'm going <clears> to <throat> I'm gonna write that down in my calendar. Now, for people that might make the appointment, I'll put them in pencil, and people that are going to make it and I can count on them, I put them in pen. So should I write your appointment down in pen or in pencil? And <laughs> they're going to give you an answer, and they'll probably laugh about it and say pen. And then you're going to say, awesome. Again, so write down your questions. You're going to get an email from me, and the subject line will say business information from Sarah Bailey or whatever your name is, okay? And I look forward to talking to you at that time, okay? So that's it. It's super simple. You get the business card. You call them up. You want to see if they're open. You ask a couple questions, and then you set the follow-up appointment. Now, some people might ask, since they're local, should we meet with them in person? Here's my answer to that. I would say, since you don't know them at all, 
and you've never met them before, I would and they're not comfortable with you yet probably, you can feel them out and see if you get a really good connection with them on the phone. Maybe you want to meet in person. But for the most part, what you'll probably do is have them watch a short video first. And then on the follow-up call, when you're talking to them, based on the information you get from that, you can then decide to have a next meeting with them in person and you can go into more detail plan about the business, okay? So I hope this has been helpful. I do have a video on what to say to people for a follow-up phone call and you can find that on my blog at www.sarahdbailey.com and I will talk to you soon. Please write down any comments you have. If you have questions, feel free to give me a call directly. My number is below and I will see you guys soon. Have a fantastic day and here's to your success.